Hi beauties! I am super jazzed today. Finally, both of the Glam Bag X's have arrived, mine and my mother's. Uh, so this will be our very, our premiere, our premiere unboxing, uh, Ipsy versus Ipsy Glam Bag X edition. Now we have already customized, funny story, my mom missed customization. I talked to her when I picked up the box and she was like, yeah, I thought about it on the first and then I didn't think about it again until the third, like in the middle of the night and by the fourth it was closed. So hers was completely picked for her. She didn't choose anything. Um, and she said she did look at it and she said she liked what they chose. So that's a good sign. I, I was very satisfied. I felt like uh, with what they picked for me and with what I was able to choose, I got like a full face worth of like skincare, stuff like that. So I'm really excited about it. I do an unbox it and show you guys. Um, and I will say, I always throw this caveat out there. When Ipsy rolls out new things, when they change the plus, when they do, all, they, they do all these new exciting things, I feel like they make those first couple boxes really, really good. And I think they do it so that uh, the initial round of people who subscribe will tell other people, oh, it was great. And then more people will subscribe. And then I think it kind of falls off. So I really need to see this play out for a year before I can be like, this is worth it. But I am happy with what happened. So let's see what we got. Um, if you guys are new, welcome. Uh, so Ipsy versus Ipsy, basically what I do is I have a standard subscription. My mother has a standard subscription. We also have the Plus, and now we have the Grown Bag X. Uh, so each month I take our two standard bags, I open them up, I compare the two. I take the two Pluses, I open them up, I compare the two. And I pick out which bag I like better as a total. And then I also pick out my five favorite products. This one's gonna be a little bit harder because there's so many products. Um, I'll just probably pick out like my couple, my top picks and see which one has more. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So let's jump in. I always start with mom's for some reason. It's just tradition now. So we're going with mom's box. This is what it looks like. Big old purple glam bag X box. Cut her open and let's see what we got. So inside, oh, and I will say they don't, they are not doing bags with it, but one of the choices was to get the bag. I didn't opt to do that. I wanted to get makeup instead, um, but I thought that was an interesting way to do it. Like if you want to choose it as one of your products, you can, but you don't, it doesn't come with a bag. So I do remember that. I don't remember a lot, but I do remember that. So it looks like they actually gave us like a little newspaper about it, like the Glam Bag X. Like it's like a, yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, oh, and it's got, I like this. So this is something that they haven't been doing in the pluses recently. This is kind of what FabFitFun does where they give you the magazine. It's got all the products that were potentially in the box and the prices for them. So we actually probably can go through and figure out like the value of each box. Cause I, I never able to do that with the plus cause I always forget to like take a screenshot with all the product prices when you're customizing. All right, anyway, rambling. Uh, so the first thing we have here, this is a kitsch, kitsch, kitsch. That would be, sorry, there's a space in between and for some reason my brain couldn't comprehend what that space was. Kitsch is what the name of the brand is clearly. And uh, they're like little scrunchies. They are like the micro, they feel like the microfiber and the velvet scrunchies, uh, meaning they shouldn't like pull your hair. They shouldn't be tough on your hair or they should be easier on your hair. I've been wearing scrunchies a ton, so I like this. I don't know how much my mom's gonna love this, but uh, cute and you get five of them and they're all like really nice, like little blush neutral shades. So yeah, cute, really cute idea. Uh, do I think if she had been able to customize, she would have chosen that? I don't, um, but still it's a nice product. It's kind of reminiscent of something you would see in like a FabFitFun or um, one of those kind of like more lifestyle boxes, which I know they're introducing Ipsy and BoxyCharm together are introducing their new lifestyle box. So interesting to kind of see that stuff be integrated as well. Uh, next thing we have is a matte painted lip color. I think she said when she checked it, she said that she liked this product, but it just was the wrong color for her. Yeah. So this is something that she won't really ever use. Uh, sorry, the dog kicked my light and now it's shaking. Uh, so if you see like dancing shadows, that's what it is. It's just not really something that she would be Oh yeah, she'll never wear this. It's like very vibrant. It's like, we'll do a little, I'll do a little. I don't normally swatch her. My mom really is very much like a nude lip type person. So this is, uh, yeah, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna fly for her, but it's really nice. Um, I would personally like it. I probably wouldn't wear it regularly cause I don't really do big bold lips very often either, but um, really pretty and I'm interested to see. I didn't really like smooth it out. I kind of left it like clumpy, but it already looks like it's drying down pretty nice cause it's a matte, so. All right, we also have the R & Co teacup uh, peach line and kombucha detox rinse. 
Uh, this looks like it's a hair treatment. This light conditioning rinse removes harsh metals and pol uh, pollutants, pollutants, that's what I almost said, pollutants from your hair and helps prevent color fade out. Love the idea of this, uh, I really do. That's a great product. Yeah, and it's funny because we are so, I know last month uh, they had a kombucha toner in the standard bag because that's what I chose. So interesting to see them kind of like trying out this new little like, I don't know trend i don't i don't know what to call it i don't know whatever but anyway yes she got some brushes from complex culture oh no i'm lying it's a tool it's a what is it a sonic t-bar it's okay so it's like a jade roller or one of the other many like precious stone rollers or something they have this is obviously to go in there and to massage your face i've seen a lot of different people talk about like the different uh benefits of using something like a jade roller going basically it's going to help your circulation it's going to help bring out like a lot of your like natural collagen and things like that it's also uh going to help like work in moisturizers and, and things like that so uh each one has a different use even like between like the jade rollers and like the rose gold rollers and all or the rose gold the um but they the difference between the different types of stone being used and everything it all has different like properties in it so it's it's, it's supposed to be like really diverse in terms of like what they are. So she has a couple different types of things. Like I know I gave her a jade roller, but I think she uses pretty much most of them. So actually I think that's a good product for her. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I have a jade roller, uh, but I'm very lazy with it. So for me, it wouldn't be great, but I think she's gonna really like that. She also got a velvet blush from Patrick Ta. And I believe he was the curator for this particular bag. So I think some of his makeup was like the like one of the featured things to choose. Oh, I, oh wow, this is like really, it's like really, it's in there. Oh, okay, that works, that works too. Oh, really pretty. Really nice, neutral, light, like kind of peachy, but still light shade of blush. Mom will definitely like that. Definitely gonna be like right up her alley for it. And a really cute like little packaging. Um, and it's a decent size too. I mean, I know it's full size, but it's like, you know, sometimes even full sizes are a little bit tiny and that's like a lot of product in that, so. I'm honestly, for the, the fact that she didn't customize anything, that she literally had like no control over what she got in this box, really solid box so far. She also got a Yensa Pink Lotus Riptide uh, Renewal Eye Cream. Eye creams are one of those things now I'm using so frequently that I think it's a great product to get in every box, honestly. So that's like a nice and it's a good size as well. We've gotten some other Yensa products from Ipsy in the past and I've really enjoyed them. So once again, a nice product. Oh, this is from Pat McGrath Labs. It's the Fetish Eye Mascara. I know I got one as well, so I'm not gonna open hers. I'll open mine up. Um, but so a nice mascara from uh, a pricey company. So that's a good one as well. And then the final thing we have here is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. I got this as well. I'm super jazzed about this. This is one that I've wanted for a while. I don't have any of the Huda Beauty large palettes. Um, which is it's honestly very rare that I they have palettes that I don't already have some somehow. But I'm really jazzed about this one. I think this is an amazing product. This to me made the box worthwhile. So this is what the front of the palette looks like. And inside you've got so many gorgeous colors, just an absolute beautiful array of like shimmers, mattes. Uh, they're very neutral, very workable. I think it's a great one for pretty much anybody um, because there's just so much to work with. Um, and it really isn't like, you know, sometimes I'm fine getting like bright colored palettes and stuff like that. Sometimes it's, uh, that's what we see in these kind of boxes, but it's, you know, this is something I think really anybody could use. Um, and the palette itself I know retails at $65. So that makes the, you know, the $50 box well worthwhile in my opinion. It's basically like you got this at a cheaper rate than you could and then you get all the other stuff free. That's how I see it. Anyway, I do wanna go through and do the price list, but we'll wait till the end like I do with my BoxyCharm and everything. And I normally have Nikki in here doing it, but uh, he's working from home currently. So he's in the other room working and I'll have to call him in here to, to be my little calculator really quick. So let's jump into my box. Let's see what I got. Um, I actually think we got a lot of similar items, um, which I, I'm i suspecting that we'll probably see that happen with these X's because there's only a handful of products they have and they're giving you so many in there. I think that we'll see a lot of like, oh, we got the same kind of stuff and oh no. Oh no, my beauty blender opened. Okay, well, I remember I got a beauty blender. Uh, I, I got it because I, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I will never ever buy Beauty Blender brand because I just can't justify spending $20 on a sponge. I just can't do it. I know I know I should. 
because I feel so strongly about like good brushes. But like at the same time, like I buy like eco tools when they're on sale and they work fine. So like, why would I, why? But I did want to try it. I figured what the hell, it's in a subscription box. It's not costing me anything. I mean, it definitely feels like a little bit, a little bit different than like the cheaper sponges I'm used to. Uh, so I'm excited to try it. I might, I might, eat my words later. I may try this and be like, oh my God, it works so much better than any other sponge I've ever used. My, my life is converted. I'll spend $100 for a sponge. I just don't see it happening. I'm very frugal when it comes to certain things like that. But I figured, what the hell, let's try it. So I did, I opted to get that, so yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my palette as well. Um, mainly just to check it to make sure it's not broken because I'm, I, you guys know I get the worst luck with uh, getting broken palettes. It's like, I know there was like one month, like almost every box I ordered something came broken. So I always double check even though I've already showed you guys the palette. Of course we got the same thing up here. So pretty, I'm really, really excited about this. I love, I know uh, I got the mauve obsessions I think in my January. Unfortunately, I already had that palette, but I have a lot of her like little nine pan ones, the Obsession collection, and I really am just a huge fan of those. So I'm, yes, very excited. Okay, so funny. Yeah, so I also got the Sonic T-Bar. I guess they chose that for me because I don't think I picked it myself. I'm thinking they chose that for me. Um, like I said, honestly, I probably will be very bad about using it. I wanna not be bad about it, but I'm just like, I'm proud. I know myself, like I'm probably, I'm just, a lot of ways I'm very lazy when it comes to my skincare. Like I'll do it, but I, maybe when I get older, I'll feel like a little bit more passionately, but I'm like getting to that place. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so yeah, actually it's looking like we've got a lot of like basically the same stuff, uh, minus like one or two things. I didn't get the scrunchies. I didn't get the eye cream, um, but I got, uh, I think I got a different eye cream. I did, uh, yeah, I got a tool eye cream, that's right. Um, so yeah, so interesting. We a lot of similar things, but not everything's exactly the same. Okay, so I did get a, uh, I got a blush as well. I got She's Adorable and my mother got She's Passionate. So mine is a little bit more of like a bronzy color, less peachy, more kind of like brown tinted, uh, which is normally what I gravitate towards. I normally go for like a little bit browner or a little bit um, purpler. Uh, if that makes sense. So that's, I, I, those, I like both the colors. I think I do like mine just a little bit more, but honestly, there is a little bit of a part of me that looks at it and goes, it could honestly be like a bronzer. So like, in terms of blushes, maybe I like mom's color a little bit better for like, as like a straight, I don't know. All right, I also got the uh, About Face Matte Paint It Lip Color, but I, <laughs> I got a neutral one. Maybe I'll see if she wants to trade just because like, I think I chose this and I chose the lighter shade, but I'm, I feel really bad because she will literally never wear this. Yeah, so that's mine. Mine is so much, uh, mine, the, the sad thing is though, I would wear this probably daily and I would very rarely wear this. So like I would trade for with her, I might, I don't know. I'll have to really, I'll have to dig deep in my soul and decide if I wanna do that. Really like these though. Like they are drying down really nicely, really pretty colors, very nice creamy formula. So um, I'm, I would love to see it on the lips as well, but really cute and I've never tried anything from About Face before, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, my eye cream that I got is from Tula. Tula is quickly becoming one of my very favorite skincare products, or for skincare lines, so uh, when I realized that it was a Tula uh, Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm, I was like, hell yes. I've been using their just regular formula uh, brightening eye balm for a while and I, I love it. I absolutely love it, so yes. Um, big fan of that, really excited about that. Um, honestly, I, I would want the Yensa one as well. I would honestly be okay getting two eye creams in this particular case because I would like to do the Yensa, but there I would definitely choose the tool if I had to pick one. And then I got two more products in mine. We've got the Private Doctor uh, Define Minus Serum, which is formulated to minimize lines and create definition. Wild. The box is like, do you guys see how like much it, they pat, they patted the crap out of it, which I appreciate because they were like, we don't want it to get broken. But like this little guy came in this giant box. Like that's wild to me. I love it, but it's cute. I like the packaging a lot. I'm a big fan of like it being kind of like diamond shaped and then like rose gold color. And it is 1.35 milliliters, no, sorry, 40 milliliters, 1.35, fluid ounces. So yeah, so decent size, uh, about standard for 
skincare sizes. Um, and I'm pretty sure this was like a, that was like a hundred dollar product. Like I, I recall that being one of the higher priced ones and I was like, oh, I should probably, get, I should probably go with that one. Okay, it's time to open up my mascara. I love the packaging by the way, super cute. Love it. It's the extreme black is the shade. And I have not used anything from Pat McGrath Labs. I know that's probably surprising as much as I love makeup, but I just, that's why I got it. Cause I was like, you know what? It's expensive, so let's, let's do it. Uh, yeah, so just like a standard, not, I was actually kind of hoping for a little bit more with the brush, if I'm being honest. It just kind of looks like a standard basic spoolie brush, but um, I do want to try it, see how the formula is, see how it works and everything, if it clumps, if it doesn't clump, yes. So that's my box. So we're now done with the two boxes. And honestly, they're so damn similar, it's very hard to choose. Um, I think I would pick mine over my mom's, um, just because I was able to obviously customize it. That being said, I think in, if I could trade out like the tea bar and I could get the the kombucha hair treatment, I would. Other than that, I think I probably would stick with me my other. If I if I could trade out my beauty blender and get the Yensa eye cream and have two eye creams in my box, I would do that too. But overall, really close. They're both really good boxes, both super strong. But I would still go with mine because I chose the products. So let's go ahead and do the price breakdown for both product for both boxes and see what the values are. Okay. So we'll go with mom's first. Let me keep everything separated so I don't confuse myself any further than I already have. All right, so for mom's, we've got the Pat McGrath's Labs Mascara for 30 bucks, uh, the Complex Culture Sonic Tea bar for $58, the Huda Beauty uh, Eyeshadow Palette for $65, the About Face Matte Lip Color for $22, uh, the Patrick Ta Beauty Blush for $32. The Yensa Eye uh, Pink Lotus uh, Eye Cream for $48. The Kitsch Velvet Scrunchie Set for $12. And the R & Co uh, Kombucha Rinse for $32, which is a value of $299. So for 50 bucks, I think that's a super solid box. And honestly, I didn't really see anything that I felt like was crazy overpriced. Maybe the tea bar just because I don't feel like I'm gonna use it that much, but like that doesn't mean that it's not what people would pay for it. So that's just a hard way, but yeah, I feel like everything is pretty reasonably priced. They didn't give us any crazy out there like, oh, this is a $200 product. So yeah, great box. I think that was hers. Let's go through mine. Gonna be very similar just with a couple, couple changes. So uh, same mascara for $30. The same uh, tea bar for 58, the matte lipstick for 22, the palette for 65, the blush for 32. Then we have uh, my Tula eye cream instead of her Yensa, which is a $30 value. Um, we have the, oh, I was wrong. The Private Doctor Serum was only $49. So I actually thought that was a little bit more, but that's, whatever, what are you gonna do? Funny enough, I don't see the Beauty Blender listed in the, product breakdown anywhere, which is weird, right? Like that's weird. Uh, but it was a $20 sponge, I remember that. So mine was a $306 value. So actually mine came out to be a little bit more, but like I said, honestly, very equal. I'm excited with this. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Really strong start. I stand by what I said. I need to see it play out for a full year. I need to see us get all four boxes, all the seasons roll out, and then probably even into next year to really get a feel for if this is going to keep up this momentum because Ipsy is really good, like I said, from coming out in the gate when they in introduce a new product, a new idea, a new launch, and giving you like really great products to really bring you in. And then they kind of get complacent is what we'll call it. Doesn't get bad, it just gets not as good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did the Glam Back X, what did you think? Did you like it? Were you a fan of how they did the customization? Um, were you excited with it? Do you agree that we're not really seeing a lot of variety because they're giving so many pro I feel like that's what we're gonna see. Like everybody's gonna get pretty much the same staple pieces and then like there's gonna be a couple variations of other pieces you can get. Not a problem because I'm happy with it, but just something I'm, I'm observing. So yes, let me know, definitely comment. Let me know if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps us out an absolute ton. If you haven't subscribed and you've stayed this long, you might as well at this point. So go ahead and do that. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay girly with the dark twist.